Africa's Business Heroes Competition, the program established by the Jack Ma Foundation to spotlight and support African entrepreneurs, has announced the top 20 finalists for the year. In its fourth year, ABH is a pan-African competition which offers entrants a chance to win a share of 1.5 million US dollar grant to fund their business, as well as access to training, mentorship and networking opportunities. Now, Memeza Community Safety Chief Operations Officer Elmarie Pereira, who is in the top 20, is on the line. Uh, Elmarie, tell us a bit about your innovation and what motivated you to become an entrepreneur. Well, Zingita, uh, my journey started when I met my co-founder, Tulium Tetwa, in 2014, after me losing my sister due to gender-based violence. Uh, by that time, Tuli already started working on an initial concept of answering the need in vulnerable communities where they don't have access to private security. So what we've done is we've designed South Africa's first public alarm system working hand-in-hand hand with the Innovation Hub Centre for Public Service Innovation, the Civilian Secretariat for Police and Community Policing Forums, um, so that in these communities we can provide them with technology that links directly to their local response structures. Uh, so since I met Tuli, together we took on the entrepreneurial journey as women from different backgrounds, but with one goal in mind, to ensure that other women are spared with the pain that we had to go through with our own experiences uh, with regard to gender violence. Mm. So what would you say have been the biggest challenges for your journey? And how do you then also stay on top of trends, especially in the digital space? Well, thank you, sir. I think entrepreneurship is probably the most exciting but also the most, most scary journey you can be on. Mm. So the biggest challenge we have faced has been accessing fundi- funding to continuously move to the next stage of our social enterprise. There's been a lot of funding available from government to assist with the initial development of the concept, the technology to solve service delivery issues and answer social challenges uh, which we are fighting, which is crime and gender-based violence. But then when you get to the stage of commercialization for these products, especially because they are aimed at the lower innocent market, yeah. that's when really, you know, it becomes challenging. So uh, the difficulty having enough cash flow to continuously grow our team has been a challenge, although, you know, we've been able to grow a team to 24 dedicated crime fighters to date, and we're so blessed to have the team that we have. Uh, but I would say cash flow is probably one of the biggest uh, challenges for any entrepreneur in the journey of growing your business. Mm. And it's worth mentioning that, I mean, you're in the top 20 out of 21,000 African entrepreneurs. So that in itself is just an achievement. But if you could just share some insight on the journey and competition and what would you say would be your takeaways, whether you win or lose? I mean, we're hoping you get the money, but... If not, what would be some of those takeaways? <laughs> well, Lisa, all I can say is, wow, what a journey. The ABH team knows how to put together an entrepreneurial journey that teaches you the, you know, what you need to do as an entrepreneur to succeed while they take you through this journey from, you know, from a competition point of view. So this is actually our second year applying for the African Business Heroes competition. Mm. Last year, we made it to the top 50. This year, we made it to the top 20, which we are so um, excited about. And the learnings we get from the journey is what helped us prepare for the next step this mm. year. So. We're very nervous, very excited about the next step to go through to the top 10. And I think what got us this far really is our focus on impact. Uh, you know, we're a social enterprise. Our focus is on impact before profit, although we try and run, obviously, a sustainable business, yes. a responsible business, but our focus is on impact. And I think that's really what helped us get to the next stage of the top 20. And now it will be to prove that we are actually a sustainable business that can make it uh, in the real world out there after 10 years of, you know, being at the grind and, and making sure that this business can succeed. So you are obviously a step closer to that 1.5 million rand prize, which will be shared by the top 10 finalists. How do you feel and what is the overall outlook uh, among your fellow contenders? Currently, you know, there's so many mixed feelings. I think speaking for myself and listening to the other contenders, it's nervousness, it's excitement. Um, and I think all of these 20 businesses need this investment to go to the next level of their business. Mm. Um, the, the fellow top 20 contenders are all superheroes in their own right. And we've got a competition. Uh, but we're definitely going to give it our best to get to the top 10. Um, but I think it's just the overall excitement of knowing that you made it this far. It means that 
we're on the right path. It means that we're growing a sustainable business. It means that, you know, we're not crazy. We're actually doing something that, that can result in a pro- proper business making impact in the lives of um, South Africans and Africans. And uh, Al-Marie, uh, I just want to say good luck. Uh, for the next step in this uh, competition, this journey, but I think you've already won a great app that you have there. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ngisa, and thank you so much for the opportunity to speak on Rise FM, and thank you to the African Business Heroes of, of getting us this far and continuously teaching us what it takes to grow a sustainable, impactful business. And that was Memeza Community Safety's Chief Operations Officer, Almarie Pereira, who is also a top 20 finalist in the Africa's Business Heroes competition. And Memeza is a safety technology linked directly with community policing forums, family members, as well as the police. So it's a beautiful, innovative feature there. So uh, good luck to Almarie Pereira and the Memeza team. And that's how-